Let's start. The project name is, Interface Callback. Let's see the project structure. Here we have a main activity, a second activity, and an interface. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. An activity underscore second.xml file, which is the layout of the second activity. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have a button, go to second activity. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the go to second activity button. In the activity underscore second.xml file, we have a button. Go back. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the go back button. Let's see the Java code now. This is an interface called my interface. It has a method called callback. Whichever class implements this interface will have to override the callback method. These are the imports. This is the main activity. The activity implements the my interface class. So we have overridden the callback function over here. In the onCreate function, we set the onClick listener of the go to second activity button. When the button is clicked, we call the set interface instance method. This method is written in the second activity. This function instantiates the my interface class. And then we call the start activity function, which navigates the app flow from the main activity to the second activity. In the callback function, we receive the data from the second activity and show it in a toast. These are the imports. This is the second activity. These are the data members of the class. In the onCreate function, we set the onClick listener of the GoBack button. When the button is clicked, we finish this second activity and then call the MyInterface class's overridden callback function. And we also pass some string data in it. This will navigate the app flow to the main activity where the callback function is implemented. And a toast will be shown. And this is the set interface instance function. This function instantiates the my interface class. Let's run the app. As you can see, when I click the go to second activity button, the app navigates to the second activity. And when I click the go back button, the app navigates back to the main activity and the interface callback function gets called, which shows a toast. So that's it. That's how you can implement the interface callback in Java Android. Thanks for watching.